Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to do a kettlebell goblet box squat with a single direction halo. This video is part of a big series of videos meant to be watched in order. It's designed to teach people kettlebells from the ground up, from zero experience all the way through basic techniques so that people can do actual kettlebell training programs. We learn how to deadlift, we learn how to swing, then we learn how to clean, then we learn how to press. After that, we work on our squat technique. Kettlebell squats are varied, but we like to start with a goblet squat first because it is the simplest. With this drill, we are gonna take a goblet box squat, squatting to a target so that we can sit down, lean back, and engage our core. When we stand up, we are gonna add a kettlebell halo at the top. By adding a halo at the top of the squat, we highly encourage people to stand all the way up. If they don't stand up, the halo gets really hard. So this is a training trick to get people to stand all the way up at the top. Important thing, make sure you know where your box is. Check it first, sit all the way down. Make sure that when you do the kettlebell squat, you know where it is so you don't have to look at it every time. To pick the bell up, arms straight, thumbs point towards the sky, thumbs out in front, get down, pick up the bell, the heavy part on top for this version of the exercise. The arm should be about 90 degrees, elbows on body. Don't let the kettlebell rest on your body. Don't flare your elbows out. Elbows together, push the weight off your body. Check that your box is in the right spot. Get all the way down, sit down, lean back. The further back you lean, the more your core will try to engage. Stand all the way up. We're gonna say left hand past right ear, all the way around the head. Get down, lean back, stand all the way up. Straighten the legs out, squeeze the glutes. Hold the glute engagement as the kettlebell goes around your head. Get down, lean back, stand up. Straight legs, squeeze glutes, left hand past right ear. All the way down, lean back, stand up, squeeze the glutes, left hand past right ear. You should do both sides equally. Get all the way down, think right hand past left ear. For now, separate these out. Do all one way for five reps, set the weight down and rest. Do all the other way, five reps. When people are new to training, they will try to not stand all the way up at the top. That will look like bent legs, tailbone back. Because people live in the modern world, they're very used to sitting down. It is hard for people to find the end range of movement. Also, people have been taught for some reason to not straighten out their legs at the top of a squat. Straightening out your legs is not bad. It is something that all high-level athletes do. Ballerinas straighten out their legs martial artists straighten out their legs, Olympic lifters straighten out their legs, competition kettlebell lifters straighten out their legs. Straightening out your legs is not bad, but people have been told it's bad, so they try to avoid doing it. This drill is meant to help us get out of this position, straighten our legs out, tuck our tailbone underneath. In the beginning, people will try to duck their head under the weight to try to not move the weight all the way behind them. People are trying to not stand all the way up. The goal is straighten the legs, tuck the glutes, stand all the way up, head, eyes up the entire time. If you find yourself looking at the ground, then you are not standing all the way up. Eyes straight ahead, all the way around the head, stand all the way up. Keep the glutes squeezed when the weight is behind you. Drive your rib cage down. If your rib cage lifts and your tailbone tucks out, you will probably feel your lower back be generally uncomfortable. Squeeze the glutes, eyes up, all the way around. The goal of all basic kettlebell training is to teach you how to stack up your bones so that you have structure. Then you build reps and you learn to breathe. Structure, breathing, and movement build endurance. Endurance weightlifting is an excellent way to build your general physical preparedness, which will allow you to do more advanced types of athletic training in the future.